Hi, this is Simon Chan, and welcome to my No BS, No Hype Network Marketing Training. Before we start with today's lesson, I just want to share a little bit about my vision and why I do what I do. Um, you know, my purpose in life is always, ever since I've read Purpose Driven Life, was to have a positive impact in as many people's lives as possible. And th my vision for creating this training and the vision for MO and Training Academy is really three threefold. Number one is the obvious, to help you know, network marketing distributors to achieve their dreams in network marketing. You know, MLM is a great profession, um, not only for the money, the lifestyle, but for the way it can change you and give you the opportunity to impact others. The second thing is to, you know, create the framework, guide you, guide the people out there to have a successful life. And when I say successful life, that sounds very generic, but to me, even if you made all the money in the world in network marketing, uh, in the business, but if you're not successful at home, if you don't have happy relationships with your spouse, with your family, with your kids, to me, that is not successful. You really need, success is really, you know, it has to be balanced. And the third vision for what I do is, you know, the leaders I've met, they have so many skills and talents. And to use those talents um, to, for possibility of creating multiple streams of income. And so maybe you don't want, you just want to do network marketing, that's it. That's great, right? But maybe you have a passion that you want to help others, maybe do charity work, maybe do mission work, but you can learn to take the skills that you have here, the connections, the influence you've created to make that possible. Or if you're doing it already, to make it even bigger. And that's the really the power of uh, network marketing. It's really changed my life. It allowed me to do a lot of things I never thought would be possible. Um, so that's... Anyway, those are the three things, and to accomplish those three, uh, marketing is a big part of it. And when we say network marketing, the one of the things that helped me become successful is I've always treated MLM like a real business, meaning you need marketing skills. And no matter what you do, you need marketing, right? If, if you want to go out there and uh, you know spread the gospel, do mission work, do you think you need marketing, right? Do you think you need marketing? Would marketing help you get the funds to pay for your trip? Uh, will marketing help you get people interested in your message, right? If you go out there to save animals, um, will marketing help that, right? Will marketing allow you to send more effective messages to get people to, to your cause? Of course, obviously, right? So, um, mo and you can even go back to the family. If you have better marketing, you can convince your kids to do things that are good for them. So, big part of my vision, marketing plays a big part. And why I'm sharing that with you is today's lesson comes from one of my uh, mastermind members, you know, mastermind members can ask me questions on a weekly basis. And she's a emerging leader that I've seen her grow tremendously since I've been working with her. And she started a group of uh, university students, helping university students. And now people look up to her. She's got influence. And her question is, I'm going to read it to you, right? Um, how long do you think I should keep providing value to them before I bring up the business opportunity? Uh, for such a big group of people, what is the best approach? Um, and th so she's grown a group and they are attracted to her, right? She's done some marketing, advertising. Um, and let me share a few things about how really not just MLM life works, right? It's about leadership. Uh, MLM is about leadership. I'm sure you heard about it. But what is actual leadership? You know, leadership is influence. It's the ability to, uh, you know, have it changing people's lives, whether for good or bad, right? There's bad leaders and good leaders, but it's all about influence. And it's the same thing in network marketing. It's about influence. So I'm going to share a few things. The What she's doing here um, is, is incoming students, they need help, right? And uh, a lot of times um, they're uh, for freshman students, they don't know what to eat, especially international students, they don't know what classes to take, where to go, where to do shopping. They, they're like scared, right? They're all there, everything's new to them. So she's like a guiding force. She's like a big sister to them, right? So obviously, she's got influence already. And so it, my first advice for the, everyone out there, if you, you have something that you're passionate about, and if you want to find better prospects, don't think about just finding prospects, but think about making impact, helping others. You, whether it may be coaching basketball, uh, helping out at church, or here, helping freshman students in university, first year students, you have something that you're passionate about, you can provide value, help and contribute to the world. And when you do that without thinking about money, okay, because if you think about money, it will never work. If you just really go out and give, 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 
people will want to be with you. Um, and don't worry, the money that comes back will be a hundredfold. Okay, just be a giver. So choose something you're passionate about and give. But never give thinking the person's going to, uh, you're going to try to turn them around and, uh, and get money from them. Because if you, if you have that, people can sense it. And I'm sure, you know, people, um, you know, there's a, there's a stereotype about salesmen. People hate salespeople. You know, when people try to sell you things, you have a funny feeling. You have like a radar that's tingling, right? That you know that. You have the salesman radar going. So you, you really sincerely have to be a giver, giver, give. Okay? So she's out there giving and is obviously working. So the question is, when does she actually uh, bring up the business? And her second question is, when does she actually communicate, keep providing value? Uh, because she's meeting people one-on-one, doing meetings, and it can get very, very tiring. It can easily get so tiring that you have no time for your business, which is a trap. So that's basically what today's lesson is. Number one, when do you think, when it's appropriate to uh, you know, bring up the business? And number two, how do you con- continue, to continue to give value? Well, let me take a tag on the second question first. To continue to give value is way more important because as long as you continue the value, you will know when the person, uh, and you know, is you will know if you bring up the business, they'll be open to it. Okay, if you feel that they're not open to it or they will think you're selling them, that means you haven't provided value enough. But if you help the person enough, just by bringing something up, you you, you know, it should come natural to you. Okay, so let's talk about value. How do you consist, consistently give value? There's a couple of ways. Number one, obviously, is one-on-one. You can meet the person, talk on the phone. It's a way to help people, right? Um, but the problem with that is as your group grows, the, um, you're going to have less time to do that. So that's a problem. So the next level up is you can do a weekly meeting. Weekly meeting where everyone gets together to share. And that's effective. It's good. Uh, maybe a little bit less personal and also not as consistent, meaning you could only meet maybe once a week, right? Because again, you're trading your time for providing value. Now, a next level up, which is very easy to do, which you can do uh, right away is create a Facebook group. So if you have a group of students, first year students that need help, you can create a Facebook group and create a resource for them to go to. And you can, people can post on the wall. You can answer questions maybe once a day if you want, right? Um, they'll be happy. I mean, they may not meet you, be able to see you once a week, but they can post a question. You can get back to them within 24 hours. That's a way you can immediately contribute and continuously always provide value to them, right? Now, if you get busier, maybe you don't reply once, a, you know, twice a day or once a day. It could be once every two days, but at least they get to hear from you. The important thing is you, they get to hear from you and you continue to provide value to them. The, the next level up is you can send emails as well, okay? Periodic emails. Um, this is, requires using an autoresponder. You can use autoresponders like eye contact, uh, auto, uh, Aweber. Those are two, two normal common ones that I recommend for network marketers or, or just any small businesses starting out. And when you upload it in there, you can do... You know, very similar to if you subscribe to my blog or get my newsletter, you get my blogs. Every week I have a message and a lesson. You can go out there and and send a message every week, right? I highly recommend that. It's very important. It could be a tip of the week. So you're always providing value. And people will start trusting you from consistency. If you do it once in a while, you know... Um, no, but if you do it consistent, it could be once every two weeks, once every week, but consistent. It doesn't need to be long, it could be short on tips on to help them, right? The next way to provide value is a next level up. And these are getting harder and harder and more time consuming. It's like a is obviously a web blog website. Okay, have a website where you can get information. This kind of replaces your Facebook group page. But more important, the website has a blog out there where you're continuously providing value again on a consistent basis. So think about it. Your, your first year students, they always go there to read and learn more. Okay. The, and then the next, there's two other levels here. The next level is newsletters. Okay. Physical newsletter. And we're getting the harder and harder, more time consuming. This probably not, may not be appropriate for you now, but something you can do later on. Okay. Newsletters. Um, so a newsletter could be, and I'm not talking about email newsletter, physical newsletter they get in the mail and they enjoy looking at tips. That is how you continuously provide value for them. Okay. Now, 
Uh, and, and the last thing I talked about, uh, last thing was similar to what we talked about before. You can do events. Once a quarter, you do a big event. Teaching, teaching. Again, you're providing value, getting your name out there. Right. Now, when is it appropriate to bring up the business? If someone reads your emails every week, do you think they'll be open? If someone always uh, replies to your emails, uh, so on the Facebook group, uh, participating, do you think they'll be open? If you ask them, you know, since you're a first year student, and would you, I know money is a problem because that's what's me, and you can share your story, would you be open to something that helps you generate income? Right. Once that trust is built, people will follow you. And in the in the beginning, you may want to do indirectly. Uh, approach them. Like, if you want a good example, just read my blogs, how I don't really sell my blogs and my writing, but indirectly do it, right? So, you, and, and if you continue to do this, people actually come to you. You can actually say something like, if you want to learn a great way to not just uh, earn extra income, but to secure your future after you graduate, contact me. You can easily, you can do that for every message right now, starting now, because as long as you're providing value, people, you have the right to do that. Because you've earned the trust already. Okay, now, so what's the all the benefits of this? The, the, building this list of people who are helping university students. What do they have to do in network marketing? Uh, ob, other than the fact that you may get people interested, right? Um, seems like a lot of work to, because you are building your list. Okay, and it's very um, interesting because you had just brought up in your Facebook group that uh, circ, you know you posted on your not your Facebook group on your Facebook wall that you posted um, your reading purpose driven life this you know she's this leader is working per, reading purpose driven life and she says circumstances are um, always change but character never right actually let me pull up uh, what she posted here it says your circumstances are temporary but your character will last forever right your circumstances are temporary but your character will last forever so what i'm sharing with you is something that you would take for you forever you know like i said there will be one day you get your residual income you may not want to do network marketing anymore but the people that you helped that you know that's your that's your brand that you take it forever right are the relationships you get it makes you a happier more enriched life that you always get that and you're in a great opportunity to do so so the benefits of this is what we call list building. You gotta build your list, um, a list of people, and that's where the, really the autoresponder comes in. You capturing the email, capturing the contact information, so that you can continue to communicate with them. So see, here's some immediate. I'm gonna share like four benefits to this. Number one is you really get to help others, and in this world, the more you help, the more people will help you. Right? The Zig Ziglar's famous quote is, "If you help enough people get what they want in life, you get everything you want in life." And you, and what I just shared with you is an amazing opportunity for you to help out not just one or two people, but thousands and millions of people. And it goes back to the one-on-one. The, a lot of things you can do on the you know Facebook group or the emails or the blogs, you can't do on a one-on-one basis because on a one-on-one you don't have enough time. But like every time I send out a blog, tens of thousands of people read it. I have an impact on tens of thousands of people. Obviously, even though I love to, I can't talk to them one on one, right? Um, it's just like I'm doing this video. Another thing, Commun- communication. I even left this out. There's so many ways you can do a YouTube video, a lesson every week, and communicate to you, and post it on your Facebook group, right? Just like I mean, I can't even believe I forgot this because we're. Uh, I, I didn't even write this down because I was just recording this and totally even forgot. But that's another way, like a media channel, right? You can do print, you can do newspapers, you can do magazines. The list goes on and on. But you can do like a video um, every to it, it help your students. Every time I do one, impacts you know millions of people around the world who's on YouTube. They can get, they can access it, right? So let's go back to the benefits. You, you, you're able to help others. Number two, you can find prospects. When you build value, people people start trusting you. When you bring it up to business, they will listen to you because you helped them first already. And number three is most important, build your brand. Build your brand, right? Um, that's something no company, no one can take away from you. That's you, that's yourself. You, people know who you are. Um, the relationships, no one can take away. You've developed those relationships. And the last benefit is if you want to do this, you want to do multiple streams of income, do other things. Um, if, if you think about it, if you're going to do charity work later on and you've helped these people in the past, do, do you think these people will mind if you ask them to support your charity, right? The, of course they wouldn't mind because you helped them. That's why the list, uh, and that's what they're saying, that your network is your net worth. And this is a great way to really increase your net worth by building the list and contacts. So those are the couple, and that's a huge, a lot of deep things to think about. 
Um, but that's really how successful business people do it. Successful now, even successful network marketing leaders, um, they may not consciously go out and do it, but subconsciously, that's exactly what they're doing, right? People who have like tens of thousands of downlines, isn't that what they're exactly doing? They're building a list, right? And so remember your networks, your net worth. Always build that list. And uh, remember, we're in the profession to help others. So make sure you go out there and have a positive impact on someone's life today. Thank you for watching my No BS, No Hype Network Marketing Training. This is Simon Chan. God bless you all.